All right, this is an introduction to smoke detectors. So I have um, just two types of smoke detectors here, just to let you know that they are all the same, the same. All right, so I'm going to start with uh, this. This is actually Vision 2020. It is a brand of Gent Fire Lamp smoke detector. So um, this is how it comes. It's just a, a sample. This comes in. I mean, it comes separately. That is, this is a smoke detector. This is how it is in the carton, and then it has a base. Gent Fire Lamp. They always put their base separately compared to all other fire lamp systems. So this is the base. Now, if you look inside the base, you will see that there are uh, terminals here, here, and here. And um, you have a positive. For you to know which one is positive, which one is negative here, because there's positive and negative here. So you just need to go through this. This is like the manual. So you see, one is negative, two is negative, uh, five here is positive. So there are numbers between here. You just look at them and then know which one is positive, which one is negative. So after that's been done, you just um, close this, turn, 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 and then you lock it. But naturally when you are mounting, it's supposed to be like this on the ceiling. It's supposed to be like this on the ceiling. And I'm going to introduce you to another um, smoke detector, which is not this. Now, this is, this is vision. Uh, UK, this is just like every other one that you see, whether it's EH, chloride, um, many of them. So, this is how this is packed. You can see this has its base inside. The base is you turn it the same thing with uh, the gent, the same thing with the gent uh, fire alarm. It has inscriptions inside. That's there are numbers you have there. This is um, two, this is three, and this is five. Uh, it comes with a manual. It comes with a manual. You just look at uh, the manual here. This is the manual, and then you see where they told you or uh, what they are explaining or where they explained which terminal goes to which terminal. You just open it. Uh, widely you open it completely here you see you see where the positive is supposed to be which one is the negative out here so this is how the smoke detector is the same thing after you've connected your cables to the terminals you turn you lock it uh, you take notes there's a line here there's a line here and there's also a line on the base but there are two lines on the base the small one and the longer one so you just take the, sh the small one first then you turn it like that but remember like i explained for the gent um, smoke detector it is always like this on the ceiling where you do this and then you lock it thank you very much all right i'm introducing this is um, an introduction to core points it is either called core point or brick glass because um, usually break the glass to activate it but the ones they're doing now you don't really need to break the glass because they can actually be you can actually reset them so um, I have two types here like I did with the smoke detectors so that you can know that they are all the same now I am going to introduce you to the gent this is um, gent core point so um, this is how it comes in the carton so it comes open like this you have to cover it up eventually so in here you have um, screws screws for it that's to close this together and then now as um, you can see this core point is intact it doesn't look look pressed now if you, there's a way you will know if it is pressed now as it is now it's not being pressed it has it is pure white but once i press it now you can see this yellow line is showing which means it is active then you have to reset it by um, putting the key in here to reset it and then to clear this white off i mean this uh, yellow line off it 
and then uh, it has its uh, terminals here that is um, looking clearly at it you have one two is negative and then you have three four is positive so this is one two uh, one this one and this is the negative terminal this three and the four is the positive terminal when we get to the part where um, um, the training of um, the cabling you will understand which cable goes in here and then why they have one two three four because it's actually a loop it's a continuous loop that is why uh, this is like this so I'm going to go on to the next one which is um, this is another type of core point all right uh, these you open this with a screwdriver there's so many different types of core points so the way you open them is different but this you just open gently with the screwdriver because it has a lock inside all right so you see inside you see uh, all these terminals here and there but these are the only terminals you have to use this is the positive terminal and then the negative terminal those are the only two things you need to use and then this is the mount this is a screw mount to mount it on the wall the same um, as the gent fire lamp panel it holds it you can also reset this if you press as it is now it is normal but the moment you press it you can see there's an indication here so during the training or the i mean during the how to use the panel you will understand how to reset and correct all this but this is just like the gent you just put your key in here you put the key this is the hole so you put the key in here and then you just turn it so you see the yellow stuff is cleared off so um that's basically all about the core point thank you All right, um, this is introduction to the sounder. Now, this is a sounder, this is a gent uh, sounder. I'm bringing it out so the carton. It's just as easy as the smoke detector. You just turn, and then you have the base. You have the bees it has its terminals that's this is two and five two positive five negative there's a manual inside indicating indicating which terminal is which so after this is done you just pull and um, this is what you mount on the wall you screw it you screw it here this this place you screw it to the wall and then you fix this in and that's basically all there are different types of sounders not just this alone there are many of them so the only thing you just need to look out for is the positive and the negative terminal you understand more when we go into how to do the installation how the cables are being run thank you all right, um, I'm introducing you to the fire lamp panel. Now, this is a conventional fire lamp. Everything on the inside, as you can see, this is written, it's written okay, gent. So this is gent fire lamp panel. So um, you open it um, from here, like this, and then this is what you have inside. Now, you first, you have these covers. Uh, we're going to get to what you're using these covers for. Remove this as well. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Then you bring the panel out. It's still box inside. So um, the parts have to be covered with good with good um cotton. So you remove this. You remove this. And then you remove this. Now it has a manual inside. Um, you can go through the manual, but I'm basically going to teach you everything here now. And um, this is a label for the zones. We're going to get to that, that part. Now, um, this is the fire lamp panel. 
it's not been locked, it's not been screwed, it is as easy as good as new. It's as good as new, so um, you can open this compartment like this, and then when you open the compartment, you have everything inside. Now, these are um, the zones, and then the sounder zones, and then the smoke zones, we'll get to that. So, you can remove this for the first uh, installation. Now, if you look in here, if you look in here, you see neutral and live. You see neutral and live. That's where you have um, the mains, the mains power supply. And then the earth's cable is in the middle, right in the middle here. So, um, you take the panel, this is the panel. So these are all the things that come with it. It comes with its it, it comes with its diode. Now these are diodes, these are the diodes for the smoke, these are the diodes for the sounders, and then these are the key parts where you this is the key part where you enter punching your code and all that. And this is the battery compartment. This is the battery compartment. This is the transformer compartment. This way yeah, it transforms um, 240 volts. That's what we use here um, in my country. 240 volts. It, this transformer transforms it to 26 volts. That is what uh, what um, current comes in here to send into the sounder. This is uh, the battery for fire alarm, for gent fire alarm panel. Uh, the most important thing is you just um, check the rating of the rating that is already written on the panel. Or when you are purchasing a panel, just ask them which uh, battery is good enough. I mean, which battery rating are you supposed to use for the panel? Panels don't come with batteries. You have to buy the battery separately. Now, this is a. Uh, it is it's a general 12 volt battery but three point this is a 3.3 .3 amp there are two there's two amp and there's seven amp the seven amp is actually bigger that is what ctec panel uses that is what um ah and the rest that is what they use but gent uses 2.2 .2 or 3.3 .3. some are smaller tinier than this so it has a positive and negative terminal when the installations when 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 we get to the video of how to install this equipment you will see how these two are connected together and then how they are connected to the panel now the next thing is the cable fire alarm cable now this is a standard fire alarm cable this red cable you see out here now when you open it when you open when you peel this uh, red cover off you have these curtains you have this you have this so you separate them so what you have is you have the red and the black which is commonly a positive and the negative so you open and then you open so this is what you have inside this this is what you have inside this cable now you can also use uh, electrical cable that is the red and black cable you use for the so is um red i mean the black and the red cable so it's it works fine it works fine so that's uh, basically all you need to know thank you